Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Clifford Katado, and today I'm presenting my research regarding analyzing the effects of trade-offs on platform performance. It is a study case of Milmate Budget Safi. For the introduction, in 2009, DriveEase pioneered the online cat booking application in Indonesia, and it quickly catches on such that RateMate emerged as one of the strong competitors towards DriveEase. Both the dive is and right made eventually expanded their businesses beyond transportation, such as food delivery, online grocery shopping, and then there's also uh, package delivery as well. It is forecasted that in 2022, the market value of online food delivery and online cat booking application in Indonesia will have a market value of 8 billion USD and will continually grow by uh, 15 billion USD in 2025. Since this research will be focuses on the uh, online food delivery industry aspect, we will discuss regarding Milmate, which is one of the sub-services provided by RightMate and specifically budget safety feature, which is one of the feature, one of the delivery options offered by Milmate. For the problem identification, it is explained in the previous slides that the market value of online food delivery industry will exponentially grow, and it is evident that there is a tense competition within the industry itself and then there's the budget safety feature which offers a free delivery options but in turns will have a longer delivery time and then there's a limited research towards this area and finally the ultimate problem is to assess the feasibility of Milmaid's budget safety and its impact on the platform's performance based on this problem identification i've constructed two research questions and objectives the first one is to identify the trade-offs occurring in the Milmate uh, budget safety and assess their impact. And the second one is to compare budget safety to other delivery options offered by the platform and evaluate their impact on the platform's overall performance. For the literature, I've divided it into three subsections. The first one is trade-offs affecting RFD platform quality where I've I highlighted some key factors that may affect the trade-offs occurring in the RFD platform quality. That is delivery charges, time, consumer behavior, and delivery efficiency itself. For the second subsection, the continuous usage of RFD platform, I've also uh, highlighted some key factors that may affect the continuous usage of an online food delivery platform. That's performance expectancy, social influence, and effort expectancy. For the Milmate and Budget Safety itself, I've already explained it before. Milmate is a subservices of uh, RightMate, and Budget Safety is one of the delivery options offered by Milmate, where the, cost the customer will have a free delivery in terms of a longer delivery time. For the hypothesis development, the first hypothesis posits that there is an association of trade off between delivery time and cost paid by the consumer in the implementation of budget safety. And the second hypothesis posits that the continuity of trade off between delivery time and cost that were implemented in the budget safety will positively impact the platform overall performance. Based on the on these two hypotheses, I've constructed a conceptual framework that can be seen at the right side of the slide. For the research methodology, I've acquired the data through Google BigQuery and focuses on the Bandung area. The research involves sampling data from the most common surface area in Bandung over the past three months, and the goal is to accurately depict the surface usage in Bandung for a more reliable research. For the data analysis, there are two main foundations of analyzing the data. The first one is descriptive analysis, and the second one is A-B testing. For the toolset, I've utilized Google BigQuery to acquire the data, Python to analyze and visualize the data, and finally Google Sheets to transform and clean the data. For the statistical approach, I believe that a PRT test is more appropriate. A statistical approach in order to test whether the control group and the treatment group of the AP test has a significant difference. A parity test have five assumptions that it includes variable dependency, random sample, independence of observation, approximately normal distribution, and no outliers. For the hypothesis of a parity test, the null hypothesis posits that 
there is uh, no difference within the mean of the group that we were testing and the alternative hypothesis posits that there is a difference. Before we proceed with the data analysis, there are some preliminary assumptions needed to be taken into account. The first one is variables dependency, and then there's random samples, and finally, independence. Uh, these assumptions were validated through cleaning the data. Uh, since we've already validated three out of five of the assumptions, we only have two remaining assumptions needed to be validated. There's also additional assumption, assumptions such as level of confidence of 95% and to key friends where k equals 1.5. For the first data set characteristic, it is an aggregate data set comprises of 1000 entries per day for 6 months in each category. We can see here that the cost per minute of regular order and cost per minute of budget savvy order has a great discrepancy. Uh, we can not only validate this data through descriptive statistics, such that the parity test come into hand. For the other assumptions of the first data set for doing the parity test, uh, we can see that the data is normally distributed and there is no outlier. For the execution of a parity test for the first data set, we can reject the neural hypothesis and can conclude that there is a substantial discrepancy in mean cost indicates that the presence of a trade-off between the delivery time and the expenses incurred by consumers within the framework of man-made budget safety by 88.06%. For the second dataset characteristic, it is a two cumulative monthly datasets from year one before the budget safety were implemented and year two after the budget safety were implemented with each set containing three identical months. This is the first data set where uh, budget safety were not implemented yet. And this is the second data set after budget safety were implemented. I wanted to highlight some key factors that we were going to assess. The first one is FT, fulfilled transactions, RG, revenue gain, and IA, incentive advantage. For the for the more details of the second data set, we can see that revenue gain, fulfilled task, and incentive advantage for the before budget safety were implemented has a substantial difference after budget safety were implemented. Again, we cannot validate this data just from descriptive statistics. We need to validate it through uh, a parity test. For the other assumption for the second data set, we can see that RG, FT, and IA were normally distributed and there is no outlier. For the execution of a parity test on the second data set, we've rejected all of the new hypotheses on the uh, key matrices, which is uh, revenue gain, task fulfilled, and incentive advantage, and can conclude that there is a great discrepancy within them whether the uplift can be seen through the below slides. For the summarized hypothesis testing, we do not reject the first hypothesis since it is evident from the first data set that there is an association of trade-off between delivery time and cost paid by the consumer. While we reject the second hypothesis since the increased cost caused by implementing budget safety offset the benefits were, that were gained through implementing budget safety. For the conclusion, meal-made budget safety offers a trade-offs between delivery time and cost. Offering a lower cost option can increase customer base and market share. Uh, performance improvements include increased order data completion and revenue generation as well, and then increased cost associated with rewards and loyalty programs offset these benefits resulting in potential losses of revenue due to uh, reduced profitability per order the level. And finally, it is important to manage trade-offs and optimize delivery option in the competitive market. For the recommendations, I recommend to optimize budget safety implementation, continual experimentation and innovation, targeted marketing and personalization, and that are different rewards optimization. Thank you for hearing my presentation.